Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. CNN showed up to Trump's rally and had no idea what was waiting for them inside. This just goes to show you, don't mess with us deplorables. Breitbart reported that supporters of President Trump angrily heckled CNN White House correspondent Jim Acosta in South Carolina Monday night by shouting at him to go home Jim and crowning him fake news Jim. Chance of go home, Jim. Broke out among attendees at Trump's rally at Airport High School in West Columbia, where the president stumped for Governor Henry McMaster in the state's gubernatorial primary. One rally-goer who was identified as Maria Rojas even went as far as to personally confront Acosta, rightfully telling him he doesn't respect the country. Acosta replied I do respect the United States, yes I do, as seen in videos posted by an Associated Press reporter. Rojas is seen pointing at Acosta and swatting her arms in his direction, as she shouts take him out of the building. In the video, Acosta can be heard saying, I have every right to be here ma'am. Later on CNN the reporter said, while we have had some people come up to us and be very nice this evening, I did have an elderly woman come up to me and say that we at CNN should get the F out of this auditorium. Rojas then can be seen turning to the crowd and whipping them into a frenzy to which Acosta then said, we are here to do our jobs and report the news and report on this rally and we're not going anywhere. Here is another exchange between President Trump and Jim Acosta. Your job? Really? Is it your job to be a propaganda machine for the Democrat Party? If that's the case you do your job very well, but if your job is to report the truthful news you haven't been doing your job for decades, and it's nice to see people are done staying quiet while you lie another Democrat into office. Here is more on Jim Acosta's legacy via Fox News. President Trump kicked CNN star Jim Acosta out of the Oval Office Tuesday after the network's senior White House correspondent badgered him with racially charged questions. Acosta has made a habit of grandstanding and interrupting when Trump and his surrogates are available to the media. Tuesday was no exception, as Acosta yelled, Mr. President, three times before finally getting Trump's attention. Did you say that you want more people to come in from Norway? Did you say that you wanted more people from Norway? Is that true Mr. President? Acosta frantically shouted. I want them to come in from everywhere. Everywhere. Thank you very much everybody, Trump responded as Acosta continued to bar questions. Just Caucasian or white countries, sir? Or do you want people to come in from other parts of the world? People of color, Acosta shouted. Trump then pointed directly at Acosta and simply said, out. A Trump staffer in the background can be heard saying, Jim, thank you, before the CNN star presumably exited the room. Acosta then took to Twitter, accusing White House aides of obstructing him from asking questions. Acosta has been among the most outspoken critics of President Trump and is a significant part of CNN Worldwide President Jeff Zucker's apparent anti-Trump programming strategy. Trump has famously dubbed CNN fake news and pointed directly at Acosta and called him by the disparaging moniker in the past. Last December, Acosta was shut down by White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders when the liberal reporter tried to hijack a press briefing. Acosta told Sanders that journalists make honest mistakes but that doesn't make them fake news before attempting a question. Sanders quickly cut him off. When journalists make honest mistakes, they should own up to them. Sometimes, and a lot of times, you don't, Sanders said as Acosta tried to interrupt. I'm sorry, I'm not finished, she said. There is a very big difference between making honest mistakes and purposefully misleading the American people. You cannot say it's an honest mistake when you're purposely putting out information you know is false. Acosta has also gotten into combative arguments with other members of the administration including senior policy advisor Stephen Miller. Meanwhile, CNN has been mocked for a variety of anti-Trump segments, such as focusing on the president's soda intake amid unfolding breaking news related to a terror attack in New York City. Acosta's colleague, fellow CNN star Chris Cuomo, apologized on Tuesday after he referred to Principal Deputy White House Press Secretary Raj Shah as Raj whatever his name is. CNN has also aired the uncensored version of the word S, whole on a regular basis since Trump reportedly used the term to describe certain African countries. CNN anchors and guests said the profanity 195 times in one day last week, according to the Media Research Center. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.